Hello. This is my second video. I plan to do this kind of uh, to know me kind of thing in my first video, which failed. So I'm doing it in my second video. Hopefully you didn't get too bored in my first video and you're actually interested in knowing about me. But here we are. Um, so what I thought I would do today um, to keep it interesting so you're not just hearing random things about um, me that you probably don't give a shit about. I thought I would do one fact about me and one of my favourite makeup products. So I guess it's relevant to this channel. Um, so let's get started. I'm a heart of dust It's been too long, it's all turned to dust fact about me is I'm 24 years old. Born in 93, Taurus. Yeah. Um, so my first favourite makeup product or my favourite lip balm. So I have super dry skin. You're probably going to be so fucking sick of hearing me say that I've got dry skin, but I do. So I find it really hard to find a good lip balm. So I've tried like pawpaw cream, but that just doesn't do anything. I find that just kind of slides off. Frank Lip Balm is amazing. It's $10. I bought it from Mecca. Um, it's the second one I've bought and I use it every single day. The fact about me is I live in Melbourne. I haven't always lived in Melbourne. I'm not from Melbourne. Oh Gatsby. Shh. I haven't always lived in Melbourne. Um, I'm originally from the Gold Coast. Let's not talk about that. Um, then I moved to Sydney and now I'm here. I don't see myself um, living anywhere else in my life. Melbourne is always where I wanted to end up. Favorite product is my RCMA setting powder. So because I find my skin just soaks up anything, it's not Often that I, well, I, I don't ever set my whole face, but when I put on concealer, I always like to set that in place so it doesn't crease, and I use this because it does not change anything about my skin. It doesn't dry up or anything like that. It's a ride or die for me. Find me a better translucent powder. You fucking can't. Um, okay, so fact three is I, I work in finance. It's really boring, but it pays the bills. My favorite product would have to be Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer. I've tried a shitload of hydrating skin primers and none of them really work. Like a lot of them I find they're nice moisturizer and they make me feel nice but they don't hold on to foundation. The foundation ends up breaking up after a few hours but this one just is like glue to foundation. I find if I'm buying a new foundation this is always the first thing I test out with and it's the true judge as to whether or not it's a good foundation for me. That's number four is I'm in a relationship I have been for five and a half years um, and he's my best friend we live together we do everything together yeah he's also a really good photographer so if you are interested in photography I'll check Gatsby Shh. if you're really into photography and you want to check him out um, I'll put his Instagram up below because he's amazing and there's pretty pictures of me come on come on you knew, you knew, like, it's amazing, like, I don't, don't need to say anything, I mean, I've had it for a little while now, um, it doesn't, it barely looks used, I actually ordered this subculture palette and I'm waiting for it to come in the mail, probably by the time this is up, it's an, I've got it, um, if you want to see me post about it, um, let me know, uh, the internet is oversaturated with that palette at the moment, but I do want to feel my impressions on it, so let me know if that's something that you care about. Fifth fact is I do have a son, four-year-old son. His name is Gatsby. Let me go. Gatsby! Gatsby! Oh, he just ate dinner, so he's a bit stinky. <coughs> Hi! He is, I think, four and a half now. He's a bit of a whinger. He's a bit of a mutt. He's an indoor cat, but he doesn't look it. Um, and he, he screams at me a lot. That's our relationship. He loves his dad more than he loves me. He's cute, but he's not yelling. Hmm. But I spoke about this in my first video. Favourite foundation ever is the Hourglass. I've already told you my two cents on this. It's incredible. You need it. And the next fact is I've only actually been really into makeup for one year. Um, when I started my job, my employer now, I met a girl who's a makeup artist. It kind of opened me up to the makeup world, which is how I started getting into it. So 
I guess, yeah, I feel like I have learnt a lot in the last year. Definitely not a makeup artist. I wouldn't have really made that clear on this channel. I'm not a makeup artist. I know I've got a long way to go. Um, I have a lot to learn. Constantly learning new things and new ways to apply products. Um, so please never get the impression that I'm a professional. You already know. It's hard to get to. I mean, because of my crazy dry skin, I do struggle with concealer at times, even this one. But I've tried quite a few concealers and none of them shape up to this one. I use it to carve out my brows. I've tried other ones to carve out my brows and it just doesn't, it's just too watery and it kind of seeps into them. This is right or dark. I don't really need to say much because you already fact about me. I have mentioned before that my boyfriend is a photographer. I'm not so much, but I do really enjoy photography. I mainly like to shoot film. Um, I used to shoot digital, but I sold all my digital cameras because I was broke. So now I just shoot film. Um, so yeah, so I do post quite a bit of my film shots from when I travel and stuff like that on my Instagram. So if you want to go follow me, I'm going to put um, my Instagram down below and probably up to the screen somewhere. Um, so the next product is my Out of Die Highlighter. Tell me your highlighter better than this. You can't. It is the Colourpop Flexitarian. Like, look at it. It's, it's crazy. Like, I've tried so many high-end highlighters and they just don't do this justice. Um, I know a lot of people do talk about it. Like, that was just me swirling my finger around and look. I just, oh, look at it. Just, I just can't. It's amazing. Um, I You can apply it on top of powder. You can apply it under powder. Um, sometimes if I want a really crazy highlight, I'll put it on and then I'll put a powder over the top as well. Is uh, my next fact is that I only buy cruelty free products. So I don't buy anything that's tested on animals. Um, so I do still have a, like, I'm so heartbroken about NARS. NARS are my favourite brand. Um, and since they are no longer cruelty free anymore, I won't be using their products on my channel, unfortunately. Even contours and my uh, bronzers, and I've got a bl bunch of blushes and lipsticks from NARS, but I won't be able to use them on my channel. So, but yeah, I'm cruelty free. I don't buy anything tested on animals. My favourite all time. Um, bronzer is the powder bronzer. A lot of people talk about this. Australia, like, never have it in stock. I have Physicians Formula in Priceline, but this is always sold out. I've never ever seen it. So, when I was in the States um, this year, I went to Walmart, and the first thing I looked for was this. Honestly, it smells amazing. Like, I honestly bought it just for the smell. You can smell it when it's closed, like, it's such a strong smell. But, I mean, I guess. It's like just coconut -y. so if you're into that, get it. If not, if you're not into scents, then maybe not because it is strong, but I love it. And it's just like the perfect one. So, and I use the light, the light one. It's some pasty. Um, so, the second last fact about me is I do have a huge potty mouth, so I do swear a lot. So, you probably catch that on my channel. Um, you don't get offended, but that's just how I am. That's just me. Um, so I'm not going to not be myself on here. not going to try and hold back. Um, so yeah, I hope that's okay with you. If not, I don't give a shit. Second last favourite product is this lipstick by Colourpop. Um, it's, I really want to buy more lippy It's in the lippy stick formula. And honestly, this formula is the best lipstick formula. Uh, I've ever used before. It's so creamy, so amazing, so pigmented. Um, it's in She Bad. So I, it's just like a great everyday lipstick. It's really comfortable, really easy to like apply over. Um, it does transfer, but I mean, that's, that's lipstick at the end of the day. I'll just, oh, that was like two swipes. Look how opaque that is. It's an amazing, amazing color. Strongly suggest this formula. So the last fact about me is that I'm super, super into fashion. So sometimes you may see that I might make a video about it um, or something like that. Um, but you'll mostly probably see on Instagram that I'll post like outfit shots or something like that. So again, as I said before, I'll put all up my Instagram down below. So if you want to follow me, you can. Um, and then the last product that I have is my all time favorite palette. This shade range it's amazing I, I can't fault it honestly they're such good shadows the only thing I will say is I wish it did have more foil shadows like there's a few that I really love but I wish 
but because these ones here these colors are really amazing but they're not foil they're more just like um metallic but i'd still say that they're still kind of satin um but honestly whenever i travel this is what i take with me because i can just do anything with it so 10 facts about me and um 10 of my favorite products i hope you enjoyed this video if you top 10 or something like that is you know, something that you want to see me do in the future please like this video so i'll continue to shoot them so i had a lot of fun shooting this um and sharing a little bit about you so you can get to know me a bit um thanks so much for watching